Welcome back to another episode of the free VST Plugins Detective, where I review, test out, and demonstrate various free VSTs. For today, we are looking at the Psytrance Bass. I'm going to give this one the perfect rating of a 5 out of 5. I'm just going to play it. All right. So as it sounds, this is a bass VST, or free bass VST. But being more specific, it's very useful for Psytrance. Now, technically, you could use these as just general basses. Right, I can even add, let's say, a filter here if I want to. Actually, let me add EQ instead as opposed to a filter. So I can even do something like this. So I can use it more even as like a sub in a sense. But of course, that side trans style bass or that rolling bass, which we're going to make in this video, this is the plugin for that, right? And it's kind of cool because I haven't really seen any side trans. Uh, plugins out there you know Psytrance was actually the first EDM genre that I fell in love with when it comes to this we have as you can see 40 different presets I mean I don't know if I'm gonna go through all of them I'll just play some real quick so for any type of like trance record Psytrance record I could even do some like techno like rolling stuff here as well so like this I'm gonna put the BPM at 140 um, and let's just make this, I'm going to show you kind of the power of this plugin. Cause I feel like for a lot of these plugins, um, you know, especially, like I said, give this the perfect rating of five out of five. I love the fact that they made this, um, because I feel like the base of side trance is a very specific thing. We're going to throw it on a kick here. Um, I don't know if I have any good, like side trance, like kicks. So I'm going to try to just find something random let's do this one. Uh, I don't actually anything here is gonna be good. This one might, might be good because I don't want a huge long tail because the bass is the low end element that I want. So notice if the the tail on the kicks too like boomy like boom almost like thing like an eight oh eight style waveform. I find it can actually like screw up the bass. I'm just gonna go like here. Um, and typically you do like a da da da. So, what is this? As that's an F. So something like this. Um, I haven't actually done this in a while. Hope I'm doing this right. Um, I might be messing this up. There is this very specific. Oh, I hate when that happens with Ableton. Uh, that's what I want. Um, and then I'm gonna do this. Hit the wrong button. Okay. Um. Maybe something like that. And then I'm going to change this to... Let's go back to the... This. I'm going to bring it back on... I like the first preset. Um, and you know what? I might break down 135, actually. I probably throw like a subset. This doesn't actually, you know, maybe this. See how that sounds. Yeah. Let me try actually uh, here's at 120. Sometimes like different side trans records can be at different speeds. Kind of like that. All right, and then we have this, right? Now, if you have envelope, modulation, distortion, global mode, I w really wouldn't touch any of these. You know, I kind of like the, the, the to, to do any of these effects, I probably would just do it in audio effects in Ableton, right? So, maybe just go through some of these. Actually, I kind of like that one. It's kind of clicky, though. 
Um, see if I can find something better. So the mixing on this one is kind of tricky. Um, it's pretty deep though. All these sound good to me. You know, let's just leave it on. I'll just leave it on one, honestly, make it easier. I also want to make this a little more boomy. Typically, I usually don't do this, but I feel like in this one, I kind of want it to have like a little more of a booming effect. I'm going to go to, uh, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Boom in E, and then going to go to here. And then boost it up to like that, just so I. And then I'm probably gonna throw on this. Actually, I'm gonna go to normal. Yeah. like the, the tail this is something where i might actually like freeze and flatten to tighten it up a little bit um i might like supposed to that yeah maybe you just have it be a little bit like Throw in some like. Um, I think we have some uh, some loops here. Let's go to like, where is it? Nope, drum loops. This one actually might work. Um, it's at one forty, but slow down. Actually, I feel like for a song like this. As opposed to starting out without the hi hats like this. Although that'd be good on the drop. Sometimes I find like we're moving all the high end on the drop and just the low end, like just the side trans kick style pattern. I and mean, this is kind of like a variant one. Like I kind of like doing like the the how do I word it on the backbeat and then the roll like the side trans roll. I think has a cooler vibe. Although, I don't like that little crash there. I actually would probably do this. Shoot. Um, I'd probably take this and do that, right? So that way the crash only happens on the one, right? And we get to the... Right. And then um, let's add in... Uh, I think we have some melodic loops with this. Um, let's see if we can just find anything that's kind of trancey. Actually, kind of infected mushroomish with like the guitar, you know? Very infected mushroomish with that like style guitar, you know? Um, Oh, is this an, wait, another major, but it says it's D minor. This might work. Kind of, I kind of like that structure. Uh, one, two, threes, okay. I always have to like do this when I'm kind of transposing. Um, bring it up and I'm gonna chop the formats on this. You know what, I'm gonna do 
this. Uh, where's this guy? From? All right, so I think it would be kind of cool if I really wanted to make this interesting. Is then what we do is we take the rolls and bring it up. I'm thinking that's going to G sharp, right? So it goes here. Oh, I hate when I do that. Right? Right? And then what I could do, just as like a little subtle switch up, is... Right, so it goes here, goes... Right, so that I have that on this one little section right there. I could even drop that a little bit. So that way we have like... We actually... Oh, it's A... Okay, I was going to say, I feel like that actually sounded a little bit off to me. To be honest, but I was like, eh, maybe I'm just like envisioning things. Oh, uh, wait, we're at A sharp? Huh, that doesn't... Okay. Um, okay, that works, I guess. I'll just roll with it. Um, I feel like it's kind of an odd place for that to go. Leave it. Right, so it's kind of cool to have like that like variant sound. Right, and then I can kind of have that. I, I still think I like this better. Like this has a more of like a raw, like classic side trance feel. And then this, I feel like has a little too melodic. Sometimes being too melodic can throw off the like the. See, I don't know which one. I, I think if anything, I actually would probably remove this. I'll leave it in for now. I mean, this is obviously just like a little fun thing I'm doing right now. And then lastly, what I'd probably do is throw in uh, like a vocal thing. Cheer. No, definitely not that. Uh, like a loop. Yeah, like this, this is exactly, this is gonna, I'm predicting this is gonna slap. I right, just go down two. I am gonna remove the four on this one. Most of the time, I do remove the formats when I do it on Complex Pro, but sometimes I do keep them in. Like, I think this is sound good, I hope. Yeah. Actually, this will bring up to 140 then. Now that we have this done, let's just mess out with some of the uh, presets, which one to be found a good one. Uh, do I want to... No, I'm going to sign. So this is what's interesting with the rolling bass is like, do I want it to really punch through the mix to have its own texture? Or do I want it to be more just straight up low? And like this one, as you can see very mid-range-ish. Um, opposed to the first one, it's really just a bass, a sub bass. You don't notice it's there. It's like bass and sub sub. But the eighth one has that mid punch, right? Almost a bit like resonancy a little bit. I think for this one, because I like that vocal sample, I think I'd rather be on one, though. And let's see if this sounds good. This might not. I'm going to warn you. All right, let's see. Actually, that's kind of good. What I could do now, if I want to get more creative... Um, it's kind of mirror this. Sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. I kind of sometimes like have something like this be a static note or static melody while the other melody changes. There's something kind of like oddly like distance, not the right word, but you have like two different things going on out here. Like, right, like. Right, so this doesn't change what everything else does. Sometimes I kind of like that. I think maybe duality is the better word, 
But what I could do is bring this up to the G sharp, like here, right? So I could always do this. I don't think this can sound as good, but we'll see. I might, I might. Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, wait, okay. No, see, it, it doesn't have the same, granted, I, I probably would have to mess around with like the exact melody of this, but I kind of like how the duality of this one just being the same the whole time, so your mind can like kind of like use that as this foundation, in a sense, like you can latch onto it, but while the other stuff changes. Especially because by this point, you're used to the whole same roll, same note, nothing really changing. So when it changes here, you're like, oh, 